Recently, Pfizer released the documents about adverse effects of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. There are many adverse events that they have stated in page 30 which had caught the attention of media for wrong reasons. So stay tuned and let's understand together what the document is saying. Hello my dear friends, I am Poonam and you are watching Biology Explained. The document states, Cumulative analysis of post-authorization adverse event reports of Pfizer-BioNTech received through 28 February 2021. So the data is until 20th February 2021. Let's concentrate in Table 1 which says General Overview Selected Characteristics of All Cases Received During the Reporting Interval. That is, from this table, we will get a general overview of the number of adverse events, how many people were recovering, how many people died, etc. There were a total of 42,086 relevant cases of which 29,914 were female and 9,182 were male and there was no data for 2,990. So it seems that females were more compared to the males. The age was between 17 to 75 years and most of the adverse events were found between ages 31 to 50 followed by 51 to 64. Now let's see what was the outcome of these cases. Of the 42,086 cases, 19,582 were recovering, that is 46% are recovering, 520 that is 1.2% are recovering but has some issues, 27% not recovered at the time of report and almost 3% have died. So there are two obvious questions in your mind now. How many doses were given and is 3% death within the normal range after vaccination? Number of doses will allow us to understand what percentage of people had adverse events after vaccination. If we scroll up, we see that they have not mentioned what is the total vaccine dose during the time frame. So it's not possible for us to understand what percentage of people experienced adverse events. And another question is that what percentage of people generally die after vaccination? That is, what is the background death percent after vaccination? That would really help us to understand whether this death is within the range or not. Again, we need to know about the number of doses for that. So far, we know that 3% of the adverse event cases died. In another study, it was found that mortality rate within 60 days of vaccination visits were 442.5 deaths per 100,000 person per year which translates to 0.44% people die per year within 60 days after vaccination. However, we need more data from Pfizer to estimate the number of deaths due to vaccination per year, which in turn also depends upon the number of vaccine doses. So from table 1, we got an idea about the adverse event cases and how many people die, how many were recovering. Let's concentrate in table 2 now which says events reported in more than 2% of the cases. For example, gastrointestinal disorder like nausea was reported in 12.3% of the cases, diarrhea in 4.5%, vomiting in 4% of the cases. Cardiac disorders like tachycardia where a heart rate over 100 beats a minute is found is 2.6% of the cases. There are other list of disorders in table 2 which you can look into. Let's now look in more details about some of the adverse events due to Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Table 7 will talk about the adverse events of special interest for Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine in details. Let's look at the cardiovascular adverse events of special interest. There are other list of events as well. Number of cases were 1403 which is 3.3% of the 42,086 cases of which females were 1076 and males were 291 and unknown is 36. What is meant by unknown? I really don't know. But it is pretty clear that most of the events were reported in females. If you remember from table 1 where we have seen the overview of events, we saw that females were more in general compared to the males. We should understand what that signifies. Are females more prone to adverse events or it is just females reporting more? 
I think this is a very important question which needs to be answered. Among 1441, 946 events were serious and 495 were non-serious. So serious events were almost double of the non-serious events. That also needs more attention. And when did the symptom onset occur post-vaccination? Range is from 24 hours to 21 days with median of 24 hours, which means within a day of vaccination, symptoms were found. That's really alarming. So it means after vaccination only, the symptoms were found. However, as I have said earlier, background events in general due to vaccination needs to be considered before we dive into some conclusion. What were the outcome? Fatal were 136, result or resolving 767, result with sequelae that is they have recovered but have some issues are 21, not resolved is 140 and unknown is 380. Again, what is meant by unknown, I don't know. In conclusion, they say the cumulative case review does not raise any new safety concerns. Surveillance will continue. That means there are some issues, but they are as expected, not new. In this way, you can read for the others like anaphylaxis, that is serious allergic reaction, facial paralysis and lot others. Now let's talk about this 8 page huge list of adverse events of special interest. This is where the media highlighted saying that if one takes Pfizer vaccine, these are the list of adverse events that can occur. But that's not the truth. These are the adverse events to look for, that is whether it is happening or not. But they are not confirmed as adverse events when one has taken the vaccine. Hope it is clear now. So what is their summary and conclusion? Review of the available data for this cumulative post-marketing experience confirms a favorable benefit to risk balance for Pfizer-BioNTech. So, according to them, there is a benefit of the vaccine compared to the risk. But we have seen there are deaths, there are cardiac issues, there are issues with facial paralysis and lot of other issues. So now we have to gather more data, understand the number of doses given and also understand the background adverse event rate which will only tell us how safe is Pfizer vaccine. That's it for today guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.